Hey guys, today I'm here to show you my fourth place Tenyi Sword Story profile uh, at the Brotherhood 1K. It was a 78 person event, and as UK regionals are starting again, etc., uh, this is one of the first big events, and us and our team managed to do really well, so let's get right into the profile. Okay, for the main deck, we played the Tenyu package, we played a massive Tenyu package. So we go for three Adherents, that's its name. Three Vashudas and three Ashunas. Um, this is the most phenomenal card in addition to this. This is like six copies of this because this searches this basically most of the time. Sometimes you get to foolish a word for like Tire, etc. But it's quite nice. Uh, and to make some uh, graveyard plays, we have the Link too. But uh, yeah, these two are both phenomenal effects. Go in second. This breaks pure board just by itself. Such phenomenal card. And this just allows you to add back the next template. All three, all these nine is phenomenal. Uh, there's no reason not to play them. If you, you if anything, you could, if you wanted to play a smaller package, you could cut these two and maybe these, and then you could play like a eight, seven package, but I rate these both going first and going second as it allows you to play through Nibiru and play through Handshack and make a play without getting reliant on your normal summon, which is insane. So that's it for the 10 year package. What a source of package. Two blackout. I wish I could play one, but we played Desire and we need to search it. But you don't want to draw this because you already like, in pure you have to play three to reveal for Moyi and different stuff like that and like discard, etc. But our deck is like, we have enough targets, so many targets to reveal. So if I could play one, I would, but with Desires it's a bit weird. So two, one reborn. Yeah, part of different combos sometimes. Sometimes, most of the time you search this is when you go for the kill. Uh, Tai, Foolish, Cards, Moe, something like that. It's nice. Free to searches. No need to explain it. You want to search cards, it's pretty good. Two Tai, um, play two, not three. It's not a starter by itself. And it's, it synergizes with a lot because you like Foolishing, because Foolishing uh, Tenyu cards are pretty good. Um, and yeah, it's a pretty good card. You can sometimes Foolish this and then banish it to start some players, but main reason. Three long ones. Card's phenomenal, it allows you to play through like Nibiru, stuff like that. Uh, the rank 10s are insane as well, like it's, it's yeah, normal, no, no, no massive explanation. Free Moe, of course, yeah, best normal summon. Uh, draw one, it's always nice. And obviously, we don't really struggle with worms with a 10 year variant, so it's pretty nice. Um, and then for the last, I guess, sword soul package is Ecclesia. Play the one of two reasons. Um, one, it's just another starter, so it's not really bad. And the other reason is you can search with Chao Feng. Uh, Chao Feng, so you usually get in a situation where you evaluate the situation by the time you chop Chao Feng. If you need another interrupt, you search one of your hand traps. This way you'll see I have two one of hand trap. Or if you need an excellent player, you search the Ecclesia. So that's it for the Sword Soul package. Uh, consistency, desires, yeah, you don't really care. Drawing any cards are nice. Um, drawing anything's nice. Uh, yeah, no reason not to play. You don't really care about banishing much of that. Um, weird, one Imperial Order. Kind of seems a bit weird, but I feared Mystic Mine and I wanted one out because people were Mystic Mining passing. Yeah, uh, I wanted an out. For the hand traps, three Imperms. Didn't want to get punished by talents. It's a hand trap. Um, one Veilar, two Ash Blossoms. Ash was just the more generic one, even though it's pretty garbage against pure, but sometimes against pure Soul Soul, it can hit enough cards, so it's, it's all right. And then for the power spells, three talents. I wanted a card that can either help push my boards because the deck barely bricks because you have so many consistency cards. So only time it will be interrupted is if they hand trap me. Uh, and then if I can carry on playing with uh, talents, and it's fine. And going second is phenomenal. You can break the bird board, you can break just as you break so many damn boards. It's so insane. Uh, so that's it, 40 card main deck. Uh, let's go to the extra deck. So rank 10s, um, you need this, it's a worm, because you sometimes with 10 year combo, you're locked into worms. Fleur, it's, yeah, it's insane. Uh, Money Rose, once again, like PK, uh, mostly stopping the PK uh, engine in the graveyard, you can just turn it off with this, which is quite nice, because otherwise if you summon this, they're just going to summon it out and then use the effect and you're going to negate it and then it's still going to get its effect, so you don't really shut off the engine, so you might as well summon this. Um, yeah, this card's actually really useful. Uh, you can trigger it off your 10 years, it's huge, it's, it's really good for the OTKs and you can make it sometimes with a, with a shooter and a Ash Blossom. Big brain. Uh, you can make all freebies, but still, yeah. Uh, good cards. Uh, for the, this is for the 
10 year package you can make it with a if a shooter and uh no a baxia and a adora uh because you go mo so you have the the link one and then you make baxia with the shooter and adora and then you pop the rank one some of this and you make chow fang you get your lights like super relevant i really want to be dry time to some of this card it would be beautiful uh against the mirror match they stop it stops the shooter uh the Ashuna, Ashuna, it stops. Ecclesia, it stops all these cards, so it's pretty good. Uh, Baxia is phenomenal. Spin 2, and the fact that you can make a rank 8 before normal summoning is insane compared to another build. And then, yeah, it's a really good insane card. The one flex spot was a Mega. Uh, only reason I like this, it was a bit more generic, and it has the value of returning a banished card, so you can return your 10 years to get value. Um, and, like, I was... It's, this is, like, the other rank 8 you go to, but if you can make this, it's a bit more generic. It will hit more decks, and then... Um, but sometimes, most of the time, you're locked into worms, so you end up making this. So. It's a flex spot. I probably would not play it again. Maybe played it once, but it's pretty good. Um, two of these, yeah, come up, Brian. Best card in the deck. Search is the trap card, so just a rank eight is still insane. A point negate and a, a trap to pop two, and it just helps you push for the decays, obviously. The one year Z, this is super good. Um, so you can sometimes make it with tie A, banish spell, etc. But other point where it comes up is if you get token collected, you can make the rank six and the rank one into Yazi, pop the token collector, summon the Moe or Tai A, depending on what you had, and then continue playing through it, which is pretty damn good if you ask me. Um, three monks seems a bit excessive, maybe, but often you have to make two because sometimes you go Ashuna, summon the monk, and then you need to summon the vanilla again, uh, the Adara, and then you need to summon another, get Adara to graveyard and then keep a normal card in forward to banish Adara and then add a card so, so then you can make this so sometimes on your first turn you end up running through two and then for the follow-up 10 year package you need the the third month uh, and now for the side deck the best part I am playing four red reboots uh, this card's phenomenal um, I wish I could have played more trap deck because this card in theory seems insane it's the spell speed for Turn off all the trap cards, spell cards. Uh, you can hit back here. You can do everything. It's yeah, no, it's really good. Uh, I can't wait to play this going forward. Uh, Happy feathers Duster and two cosmic cyclones. Um, it's pretty. Uh, cyclones were there. I tried to make cyclone because I was starting to play a scythe and PK package because they're really obnoxious. And this is the only guaranteed way to stop it. I don't think there's any other guaranteed cards that could stop the combo. Droplets doesn't help. None of that. Chalice doesn't help because they can trigger Scythe twice if it's the combo. Uh, for the kind of going second card for trap combo deck, free draw, free Nimbiru's. Nimbiru contradicts with the deck, but it's only it's because we're not playing many hand traps. We want kind of like standalone hand traps that could potentially end their turns, and these were the six standalone hand traps that could potentially stop turns, like, for example, this could stop Virtual World, and like, same with this, like, Virtual World, even the Bird deck, it can turn off the, it can turn off Utopia, and then smack into another one, so it's pretty good. And then for the two going first cards, Anti-Spell and Protoss, I was playing two of these, but ended up uh, putting in Cosmics instead. But yeah, no, Protoss and Anti-Spell, Anti-Spell is fairly, it stops the uh, Power Spell, so it stops Talents, Dark Rulers, Chalice, forces them to do it straight away instead of using it. And then Protoss, card's phenomenal. This is going to be the most toxic card in the format, I can assure you. It's ridiculous, like, it's a, something that can barely ever stop, because you can search it whilst making, like, a full board with it. You can call every attribute, basically. You have access to nearly every attribute, and then you can stop it, and then it doesn't matter what power spells they have, or etc. they can't do anything. Cool. Any final comments on the deck, or how it performed? Uh... Yeah, no, deck was vulnerable for me. Uh, I lost, my only game I lost to was Birds, and it was losing to myself, because I made a misplay, so I'm fine with that, not too bad. Um, so yeah, shout out to Tier Zero Games, best yeah. team. Uh, uh, also, shout out to Betty, uh, he helped with Fury a lot on the deck, and he told me to shout about, so here we are. Shout out to these guys. Uh, Alright, cool. Cheers for the profile, guys. Yeah, please remember to check out the links in the descriptions, and yeah, thanks for watching.